I have a second channel, Cube Comp MTDX. Hey everybody, here we're looking at another power supply. This is a uh, power supply unit of an e-machine system. I've had this thing in my um, storage container for quite some time. I have a little tote down here that's got some power supplies in it that I had planned to eventually look at even in this case years later. I've had this thing probably since 2014 if not earlier. Um, power supply does not work at all. Absolutely nothing. No 5 volt standby, uh, no 5 volt rail, no 12 volt rail, nothing. And of course without the 5 volt standby rail the rest of the unit isn't going to run. So this is a Delta DPS-300 AB-15B. dash Now first and foremost I do want to mention that when it comes to e-machines computers they're highly known for the infamous motherboard killer Best Tech power supply which is the model Best Tech ATX-250-12 E and of course Best Tech themselves they have a pretty bad rep because of that one model um, that was the one infamous model that was highly known for killing motherboards when its two transistor 5 volt standby rail would malfunction due to failing capacitors the 5 volt standby would skyrocket to sometimes 12 or 14 volts I have it on video from years ago um, doing this so that the, the ATX 25012E that's the one that's highly known for that but this power supply here apparently has a similar issue now I don't know for sure if the motherboard from the system was dead or not I mean this it's been years um, since I had pulled this unit I'll have to look back on my channel so I can find a video that um, see if I can find a video because I used to do part system videos all the time while I get these part systems in but if I if I can find it I'll link up in the corner so this power supply here um, I, was, I was reading online on badcaps.net forums and apparently this is the lesser known unit with e-machines because they mostly use best tech supplies back then anyway um, but they also use Delta and in some cases Hypro um, in the later models but this unit here is pretty interesting for one reason this unit also uses a two transistor 5 volt standby design now to be honest a lot of units out there have used a two transistor 5 volt standby design and many of them have not been known for killing motherboards left and right um, some of them were designed a little better than others some of them simply did not experience failures that often and in the case of this unit there weren't nearly as many of these installed as they were the best tech ATX 2012 E's now this unit here um, is a bit newer um, you can see it has SATA cables built right in so I'm going to date this as a 2006 or 2007 era unit um, but one thing I've noticed in this unit is there is in addition to the main transistor which is over here I think this is a uh, single transistor forward um, there is a second transistor down there and I'm not seeing I'm not seeing an 8-pin IC in this area here now this one over here this little 8-pin IC over here controls the uh, main switching but this unit does not have a second IC down in this area and with that transistor I'm going to, I'm going to suspect this may be a two transistor style 5 volt standby rail let's see one transistor there and another transistor right over there um, and one thing I'm also I'm noticing is get my hand out of the way because you can see let me get a flashlight so you can better see this there is some darkening going on on the uh, circuit board so there is a possibility that this 5 volt standby circuit did run quite warm now you can see right next to D90, uh, D951 um, that diode which is right get you a better zoom so if you look right down in there you may see D951 
There is definitely some darkening going on in the circuit board right there. So I'm beginning to suspect that maybe the 5 volt standby circuit has failed in this unit. Um, and I'm going to say this unit is probably kind of like the Bestech ATX 25012E. Um, when it fails, it's not really worth fixing unless you're going to do a whole more or less gut and rebuild of the 5 volt standby rail. Um, so there's a user on Bad Capstone at Forums. He goes by the name Everell. He's actually a uh, He's actually totally re-engineered the 5 standby circuit on a Bestech ATX 250-12E. Built his own little daughter board. He mounts it to the heat sink. Uses a Fairchild DM311 IC. And, uh, that's quite a bit of that's quite a bit of uh, work, more or less backwards engineering stuff. And you can see again, there's a pretty good look at that darkening on the uh, circuit board there. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, pull the uh, circuit board out of the case since um, it does appear that this unit could perhaps not really be worth fixing. And I should mention, um, you definitely be careful when you're uh, messing around inside a power supply unit. This, this, this power supply has been unplugged for quite some time. These two primary capacitors have had plenty of time to discharge. Um, but I did check right in here at the multimeter on this bridge rectifier first to make sure there was no standing voltage on this thing because I mean these things can run I think it's between what 340 to 370 volts DC which is enough to really hurt if not kill you So one reason why I'm pulling this out of here is to see if there's any noticeable like burn marks or damage on the bottom of the uh, unit like there was in that Bestech ATX 312Z I had worked on. Now the underside of this unit, it looks totally fine. I don't see any issues. And let me not speak too soon now. Let me just get a good look at it. No burn marks, but I can say that if you look if you look really carefully on this unit, right in here you can especially if I angle this just a little bit, you can see this area here got hot. So I'm probably gonna assume that there's likely a fail component in this area. Probably having to do with the file standby. So it's why it's uh yeah this like I, say, it's, I think it's safe to say that the uh, five volt standby on this unit is most likely uh, the culprit. <laughs> And since I'm not intending on actually fixing this, I'm going, I'm going to likely end up just parting out this unit. Um, I'm going to go ahead and crank up the soldering iron and disconnect the live and neutral feeds. Okay, so now that we got this board freed up from the case it was in, you can now get a better look at the carnage. Uh, you may be able to see get a flashlight here. Yeah, it got pretty dark right there um, around that resistor and that diode right next to the optocouplers. Yeah, something was definitely going on here. I'm going to say that it's likely that it got to the point that maybe some, that one of those components had failed. Now surprisingly all the capacitors look fine. Um, not sure if the uh, 
design on this one has that critical cap. Um, that's the one that it, um, if it fails, it can cause the fire standby to uh, just completely get out of whack. Yeah, all the caps in this thing are they don't they're not bulge or anything. Um, although they're not really good brands, you know, Caps on and let's see, uh, L Tech I'm seeing in there. Yeah, Caps on and L Tech they're pretty common in Delta units. Now they're they're much better than some of the really really bad quality caps you get in like cheap end units, but. Yeah, that's, that's crazy right there. Um, like, I, like I mentioned, this unit had no working 5 volt standby at all. So, considering it wasn't like the uh, the best tech unit I recently looked at, like I don't see any, I don't see anything on the bottom of this unit other than that hot spot. So, oh yeah, and also the fuse tested out good. So the fuse isn't. Um, yeah, the, the fuse isn't bad or anything. So I guess I'll be parting out this unit. Uh, of course, we've got the uh, wire harness that goes to the computer. We've got got some decent primary caps. A uh, 680 microfarad Sam was on capacitors, which Sam's on is actually a decent brand. Too bad they didn't use a brand on the whole rest of the unit. We've got some M MOVs in there. For surge protection, we can pull those out. We got some various coils and all that good stuff. So, yeah. So that's that's it for that Delta unit. You know, once I read online on uh, bad caps on that forums, that those units were also known to cause motherboards to fail. Just don't really see it's worth fixing. Now, I can say that I do have other units like cheap end units that use two transistor 5 volt standby heck the power supply and the plexi may also use two transistor 5 volt standby I'm not certain on that but they're not all bad it's just when they fail I mean when they do fail it can be nasty depending on how that two transistor design is built some of them are, some of them are not so much known for frying motherboards like the uh, best tech design but um, there were some out there that uh, could Definitely uh, cause issues down the road. So anyways, hope you all enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Well, everybody, that wraps up for this video, and I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like the video. Also, don't forget to subscribe to your channel, and be sure to tick that bell so you'll get notified when new videos are posted. Also, don't forget, I have a whole lot of other interesting videos here on the channel to check out. And also, in addition, I have a second channel, CubeComp MTDX, where I have all sorts of other videos not exactly related to technology. Links to the channels are available at the end of this video. Again, I thank you for your support and thanks for watching this video.